Hey guys, it's Red Dragon Mate, and if you stuck around, that's a warning. You're a real one, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I really do. Power Rangers Dino Fury is gonna come back on September 18th, according to certain Pink Ranger who may or may not be working for Buzz Blast with Jane and Jane Bot. <laughs> In the midst of said hiatus, there's been there's been some some activity. There's been activity, yes. <laughs> uh, several episodes have been leaked, but in French dubbed, French dubbed leaked episodes. That's interesting. Uh, there's been there's there's quite a bit to talk about with that. Uh, the return of Lord Zed. Okay, yeah, <laughs> and a few other things, but. Uh, just my own thoughts of on on the said on the situation. Uh, I know I'm not exactly the person to be going to all the time about this type of stuff because like I just want to enjoy. I mean, I just want to enjoy Power Rangers for what it is, the awesomeness that we all enjoy. That's 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 near, nearly a 30 year old franchise. So yeah, I mean, let's have some fun with this and uh, let's get into all the all the the craziness. The first thing is, is there was an image released of a future episode of Power and Dynasty, or if you've already watched it via the leaked episodes, uh, of a of our old friend Lord Zed, uh, the sworn enemy of all that is good and decent. But my question is, um, but my question is, at the end of Power and the Space. Lord Zed and Rita lost it, lost their powers. So is it possible this is just another dimension, Lord Zed, or or something else that might have happened? Cause that, cause I mean, I'm looking at it from that way too. I don't know. They could have a pretty solid explanation. It's a good chance to have the kind of mention it on um back on Beast Morphers too. So there's no way of knowing. So there's no way of knowing until like uh. We go ahead and see the episodes, so I think that's gonna be really. I think it's gonna be amazing, and of course, maybe even continuity stuff. Uh, there I saw the image of him, and he looks he look, he looks amazing, like a like an updated version of the original design for Lord Zed, or even a combination of the original design and the one from the movie with the pulsating brain. Uh, I I think that I think that's pretty cool too, but. Again, it's Lord Zed is coming back to back to Power Rangers. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty amazing, and I cannot wait to I can't wait to get to see it. It it's gonna be fantastic. Before the hiatus, uh, I just mentioned um that Void Knight. Uh, I think a lot of his story reminds me a lot of Mister Freeze, or uh, like the the other one where he's trying to find the. Some the sparks has something to do with the with the lady that's trapped inside of a it looks like the cryo tube that Nora Freeze has. Like, okay, just the Void Knight Void Knight Freeze, you're gonna start making ice puns now. Mon équipe vient d'échouer une nouvelle fois. Je suis désolé, ma bien aimée. Uh in the in the leaked footage that features Void Knight. There's a face reveal. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gonna be amazing, and I cannot wait for the backstory. It's gonna be, I think that's gonna be amazing too. Ooh, what if they use? Okay, hear me out with this. You remember? I don't know if any of y'all ever watched the four episode miniseries of Super Sentai, where Super Sentai's World's Strongest, where there were various rangers that were possessed by the Void Knight's armor in in Zenkai, not Zenkai, I'm thinking about something else. In a uh, real soldier, there's a, another character called Gysorg, which is a sentient armor that would possess the rangers, with specific rangers, and make them fight on um, my fight because it's looking for the strongest ranger. What if they adapt that same thing on Dino Fury and it's making a uh, Void Knight go cuckoo? And go overdo overdoing it because he had like a lust for power or something like that that he wanted to get strong enough so he could be able to to help uh his uh, whoever it is it might be his wife it might be his girlfriend it might be his sister could be any of those things but we will not know until uh we won't know until uh we get to see it on if you've already seen it or we get season two or anything of the sort 
I think it's going to be pretty fantastic, to be honest with you. The, the, whatever is going to happen is going to be pretty amazing. And I don't know. I just came up with that on the spot. I think, I'm thinking that might be the case. That might be the case. Ooh. Of course, included during the hiatus, we did. Again, I'm going to reiterate this. We did get uh, who the Gold Ranger is, but what will hit. But I'm, I'm curious. This is probably most of you guys about what his origins will be. So we're excited to announce our Gold Dino Fury Ranger. Hey guys, my name is Jordan Fight, and I'll be playing the sixth Ranger Ion. I'm again, I'm gonna put it out there. I put it out there again. I only watched like the first five episodes of Real Soldier, even though I knew I knew it was. I originally I remember saying uh, that Q Ranger was gonna be the next one for Power Rangers until the my until I got blown out the water with Beast Morphin, and then again with uh, Dino Fury, and oh yes, uh. But I'm wondering how, but I only saw, but again, I only saw like the first five episodes of Reed Soldier. I should, I really just sit down and get a chance to watch, but I'm on the busy side, so I'm not going to get a chance to do it until much later. But I think there's going to be something really cool about the uh, origin of how the Gold Ranger gets his powers. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's going to be something cool. Uh, and, uh, Let's just see what happens, cause the sixth ranger is always the the. I've always liked the sixth rangers, and ever since you know who. So now the portion I've wanted to get into. Um, so, in the in the leaked footage, there is also, uh, there's a scene, there's a whole episode, but, uh, it's going to be it's going to be quite well known because it actually just shows that Izzy, the Green Ranger. For Dino Fury, she's gay. Yeah, she's in the girls. And you know what? I think that's pretty cool. That because that makes Izzy the first uh, ranger in the live in the in the main series of LGBT, uh, LGBTQ. Uh, but there's always a, a lot of uh, there's already a, lot, a ton of backlash on Twitter because Twitter <laughs> because of the internet. Uh, but the thing is, you know, uh, this friend, like I said at the top of the, the top of the video, this is a nearly a 30 year old franchise. You can live with a few Rangers being, you can live with a Ranger or two or a few being from a different walk of life because that's the thing Power Rangers is. That's the thing Power Rangers is like everybody from walks of life come together to do to, for the greater good of protecting the earth and saving the universe from evil threats. So. You can so again you can live with a ranger too doing this. I feel like it's that whole situation with uh, Nate on Beast Morphers and how Blake Foster felt about. I'm sure you can have your opinions, but at the same time, just be respectful and don't like just try to send, send death threats to the writers and stuff like that. That's not a, that part's not okay because you feel like it shouldn't have to. And I see that people are like, usually watch Power Ranger for the morphing, the fights, the Zords. The weapons, how they adapt the Sentai footage in a specific way to make it, oh, to make it as best as they can. Uh, but at the end of the day, let's just not, let's let's not be that per, do don't be that person. Cause at the end of the day, I think we all love Power Rangers. We all love what it stand for. We all love getting the toys. But yeah, just be cool. And besides, Power Rangers had its fair share of like LGBTQ representation, like in the comics. Of course, through David Yost, there's a lot of people in the Power Rangers fandom that who probably are gay uh, and LGBTQ. But you know what? That's great. Honestly, that's cool. You shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be like crazy about it. But yeah, Izzy on um, Beast on uh, Dino Fear. I'm gonna say Beast Morphers. I'm thinking about it too. Uh, She's gonna be she's a first represent because I mean, Brett David Yost is in it. Trini on the 2017 Power Rangers movie pretty much said it. Uh, there's two characters in the comics who are Omega Rangers, they're also uh, they're an item, and yeah, so yeah, excellent for Power Rangers to get more uh representation in the media. So yeah, I think it's something just pretty cool, but I also think it's interesting. Because it took, because I would you would think that Power Rangers would do this much earlier, but it's interesting that they're doing it now 
but again, like I said, this has some LGBTQ influence, and and which is interesting. But you know what? Great. And but you know what? Great. More people need more representation in the media, and knowing that they exist and they have people they can relate to. On that note, uh, on top of of course the MMA fight between Michael Lasky and Blake Foster, I think it's on the uh, September 16th, I believe. Um, something like that. But yes, on top of that, that's going on. I think he got the pay per view on sale because he is definitely trying to get people on the uh, the media stuff. So I think it's I think that's going to be pretty cool. Big combat sports fan. So uh, definitely gonna definitely gonna keep an eye on that. So yeah, but that's it for the battle of the toughest friend. But that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications on. Know if I post another video. I'll see you in the next video because it was Google delicious. A peace. Uh.